Hey, I'm Kappa and I didn't plan to make a video this week but after again a few days I got into CS and just decided to play one competitive game and it just threw me off so hard that people still make these mistakes and it annoys me so I made this video so you can stop making these mistakes and become better at the game in general so what is the first mistake a lot of people make? Um, it's that they don't do a proper warm-up and don't skip this part. It's really important because look, a lot of people just go into a regular dust to death match, plays one or two and says, yeah, I'm good, I'm warm up. No, that's not the case. So go into this map. If you don't have it, it's linked in the description below. And uh, press this button, press this, delete this, and press play. So, what will this do now? You're gonna practice with 500 kills every time you start CS. So, first 100 spray kills, just like this. Then 100 spray transfer kills, just like this. Then, burst in place, then burst while moving. Then one taps in place and one taps while moving. Then after you got this, you pick up a scout and you do 360 and flick onto the guy's head. Doesn't really matter how you do it first, but just do this every day before you play a competitive match. Then after you do this, you exit out, you go to community server browser you find a good headshot only server, I prefer pistols, connect here and you play until you get around 50 kills. Then and only then are you ready to start a first game. Then after you play your competitive game, you want to actually practice so you can improve. And for this, a good way is to deathmatch and deathmatch on into eternity. But another good way to practice is with maps like these, again linked in the description. These are pre-fire maps and they also help you hold a site and show you good positions and what to be aware of. So let's load in and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to practice. And while this is loading, please consider subscribing or commenting. So now that you're loaded in, first we want to start with basic pre-fire practice. So you choose where you want to practice, I'm gonna choose here, I'm gonna take an AK and uh, I'm just gonna start. And how does this work? You're gonna know the bots are going to be in the most common places and you need to fire before you actually know they're there. So one bot is gonna be right here and he's dead. And another one here, you kind of peek like that. So they don't really know what hit them. So you see they're in the most common positions and you need to anticipate that they're going to be there. So you check every single angle. And that's how you know. And here it also shows you. If you didn't know you can place yourself here. Now you know you can crouch and be like that. And that's how you practice this. Now if we go back to here, uh, let's try a defense practice and let's see how this goes. So this is going to position you on the side and it will force you to defend it against incoming enemies and you set how many enemies you want to defend against and just practice this. You see the common places your enemies are going to be and just defend the side. Another thing a lot of people don't understand and just don't do is a good crosshair placement. And I know a lot of people say, yeah, I place my crosshair, blah, 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 on headshot level. But you need to keep the crosshair level in mind every time you pick a corner. You need to know if an enemy is going to be there, if there's a step right there or the height increases, you gotta move your crosshair up. And every time you go around the corner, this is the corner, this is you. You need to always check around where the enemy is 
always keep your crosshair snapped on the corner while you're moving. That's a very important step. Then another thing that really annoys me is not using your microphone or even if you don't use a microphone, not getting info. So even if you don't have a microphone, three guys rush B and you think one and you hit another for 50. You type in chat, three B, one low, one half HP, one fifty. And that's good enough in most cases. You don't, even if you don't have a mic, you can give proper info. And if you do have a mic, you just say, oh, those that many people are there, one is slow, one's tight, one's lit. And you just say, was well, maybe a smoke is down, maybe a flash is from, you give information. And if somebody calls a rotation, this is another giant mistake. If somebody calls a rotation, then you rotate. Trust is the most important thing in CS, like out of everything. I like. I'm gonna give you exa an example from the game I mentioned before. I was playing solo A because they're rushing B a lot, and I called two are rushing mid and two are going apartments. And my team, of course, four were on B. One guy was. Just baiting banana, of course, and four teammates were just like that. Yeah, it's definitely banana. Meanwhile, I'm calling, I'm getting rushed, I'm going to die. Come quickly, A. Hey, nobody came, we lost the game. And uh, that happened several times. And again, remember, calls are important, trust your teammates, learn a bit of English, <laughs> please. I hope you learned something. I really do. <laughs> so if I come across, anyone out of you that you you're going to know how to play okay that's going to be it subscribe comment bye bye